This meeting is now being recorded. Welcome to the Group Insurance Commission's Coordinator Training for Municipalities for the new MAGIC system. We're going to be talking about coverages today. Just a reminder, um, the information that you're seeing is fictitious information. The coverages and the plans are actual, but any other information that you see is fictitious. I'm Michelle, I'm with the Boston Data Group, and we've been working with the Group Insurance Commission to roll out this new application. Let's go ahead and check on our agenda for today. We're gonna to be doing coverages, um, viewing the coverages, viewing the coverage history, adding new coverages, changing coverages from family to individual or individual to family, terminating coverages, and processing annual enrollment. Go ahead and click over here to our application and I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So as a reminder, when you log into our application, on the top left, we always have the MAGIC uh, logo, and on the right, we have the state of Massachusetts emblem. Our home screen will provide you with news and alerts. It will also provide you with messages such as using Internet Explorer 11 is the best in our recommendation. We do provide the information down below about if you have questions about processing enrollments and changes, um, navigating the new system, that the GIC audit unit is available and ready to help you. If you do experience any technical issues, you can send an email along to us. And if you have any questions about accessibility, please send an email to this GIC.ADA. So let's go ahead and click on our benefit management section. And from the prior webinars um, on searching and personal information, you'll remember that there's three ways for us to search for an insured. So we're gonna go ahead and search for an insured right now. For the agency that I'm representing, I will only get the people come up for my agency, which is 666-7777 today. And I'll go ahead and click on the link here for Abraham Cadabra. And as you know from prior training, if I click on the plus sign, it will expand the section. The minus sign will collapse the section. And you're now seeing on your screen the entire personal information screen for Abraham. The top section has all of his personal attributes. The middle section has pre, uh, coverage information. And the last section has dependent information. So from a coverage standpoint, Abraham currently has health coverage. His current plan is Tufts Navigator Family. Here's the current premium that's being charged to the, the municipality and the original effective date of the health coverage. We can step into this a little further for the history and click on select and view and you'll notice that I have six rows of information here available to me. It tells me that starting back on January 1st of 2012, Abraham started on this coverage and through June 30th of that year, the cost to the municipality was $1,432.43. There was a change to this coverage on July 1st of 2012, and it was a premium change. So we now have provided you with a new history record here. Again, same thing happened the following year and the following year. And so that's how you have all of these history records presented to you in reverse order, most current working backwards. So this will give you the history. Go ahead and close that. Additionally, we have dependents that are part of Abraham's family coverage. We have his wife, Charlotte. You'll notice Charlotte had a start date. She started the same day as Abraham elected to have this coverage. She has no termination date at this time, and that's represented in the coverage grid. Valentine, his son, actually does have a termination date, and which is also represented in the grid. Both of these individuals and Abraham have only had one health coverage. If there were more, the list would include those. Please note that this termination date is the last day of the month in which Valentine is turning 19. He's currently listed as a child under 19. If he remains on this coverage, it will become the next um, type of coverage, which is the 19 to 26. I'll pause for a moment if you want to make any notes here that you want to, you know, remember to ask your coordinator at a future time or look for when you log into your agency. And a reminder that you can edit personal information from here. We talked about that in the other video. Here's the home button. So 
if I want to go back and find that email or there was something in the alerts and links that I wanted to check on, I would click the home and it takes me right back to the home page. I'm going to go back into benefit management and we're going to search for another individual. So Abracadabra, two of them come up in the screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on Abra. He's the individual that I wanted. And you'll note that this individual is actually starting employment tomorrow with us here at this agency. In front of me, I have his paperwork for the coverages that he has elected. And I have this paperwork in the appropriate time frame, as I am required to send this paperwork along here to the GIC within a certain number of days. The, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. And the um, coverage event comes up, and I'm going to go ahead and click on New Hire. And you'll notice that the event date was April 1st of 2017, and the, um, the effective date is June 1. Um, based on his hire date of April 1, his effective date can be no earlier than June 1st. So we've listed that here for you, and it's not something that you'd be able to edit. You're going to go ahead and click on the Health. And in the drop-down menu, we're going to choose Fallon Direct Care Family for this particular um, individual. And I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. And you'll notice now as we come to the screen that we have the personal information screen, and then we do have the health information here. So a, um, Abra has selected Fallon Direct Care Family. The premium to the municipality is listed here, and it's effective as of June 1st. Notice that there is no premium, total premium listed up here because these, these are not um, implemented as of yet. Once we get to May 1st, current total premium will be listed here. Now this is a family coverage, so we would expect that average dependents would want to be listed for this coverage as well. You need to submit the paperwork to the GIC so that we can add any dependents. Any of the dependent information that you send us should include birth certificates, marriage certificates, or any other paperwork. Remember, the rules for the new magic are the same as the old magic. Nothing's changed. We need, uh, the GIC needs to have your information within the expected time frame, as well as the correct information and the correct paperwork. Okay, so let's go ahead back here to search. And we're gonna pull up another one of the insureds in my agency. And in this case, it's Igor Cadabra. And Igor has decided that he no longer um, is going to work for my agency. And so I'm going to process the termination. I'm going to click on Terminate All. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose the reason. He's leaving state service. And he's actually leaving on um, the 1st of May. So his coverages are going to terminate May 31st. And I'm going to go ahead and click su su Submit. What's important to note is that now you'll see that here in the term date section, we have the May 31st date, followed by the reason that he's leaving state service, that he's leaving. You'll notice that the termination date is populated here in the term date field of the coverage. And then, if he had had dependents, we would have also seen the dependents terminated as well. Let's go ahead and click on search for another individual. And we're going to find Boris Kadabra's record. I'm going to go ahead and click on Boris. And you'll notice that Boris has been covered through NHP Prime individual currently, and he's been on board since January 1st of 2012. If I click on View, you'll see the history. Similar to the other individual, the premiums here changed each year, so the coverage history is available. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So Boris has a wonderful um, instance that of adoption. So we're going to go ahead and add a, co um, add a coverage, but in order to add the family coverage, I need to terminate the individual coverage. So we click on Edit, and we here, and we're going to terminate this coverage as of May 31st, and we're going to do it as a coverage change. I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit. And now, what coverage do I want to add to replace the coverage that I'm terminating? 
So this is a coverage change, and this was from the individual to family, so it's a qualifying event. And I'm going to say that it's due to birth or adoption, and I'm going to put in the date. Ah, what the heck, let's do May. I like the month of May. And the effective date and the health plan. And you'll note that he was on NHP Prime Individual, so I must choose NHP Prime Family. I can change from individual to family, but I do need to stay with the same plan. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. And you'll notice that we now have one plan ending on May 31st and a new plan beginning on June 1. Now I do want to get the dependents added, so I'm going to send my paperwork off to the GIC right away so that any of the new dependents effective June 1 will be listed here on the coverage. That's a coverage change. The important thing, to, again, to remember is that everything begins here by terminating the coverage that's in place and replacing it with another coverage. Let's go ahead and pull up another individual. Now you'll notice that I have a typo, so I do need to fix that. No search results came up because nobody existed with that name in my agency. And so now here's Josephine, once again, is verification. She's in my agency, as I'm only able to see people that are in 666-7777. Josephine also has been with us since January 1st of 2012. You'll notice that she has an, um, one dependent that's active, and she has one dependent that coverages have um, already been terminated due to aging out. So let's go ahead up here and let me show you the view to see the history. I think you're familiar with this now. And let's go ahead and close. So in this case, I'm actually um, changing Josephine's annual enrollment, and she wishes to change from Tufts Navigator Family to another coverage. So because this is annual enrollment, I must enter in a termination date of June 30th. And I must do, again, coverage change. I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit, and it's going to bring me once again to the Add Coverage screen. For the coverage event, I'm going to choose Annual Enrollment, and please note that it has automatically populated the event date field for me and the effective date field. So on July 1st, that's when the annual enrollment, um, the new enrollment can go into effect due to annual enrollment. So I click on Health, and I click on the new plan that I want to choose, and I can choose any other plan. I'm going to go ahead and just choose Fallon Direct Care Family, and I'm going to hit Submit. So what you'll note now is that um, the Fallon Direct Care Family is in effect on July 1st. The term date for the Tufts is June 30th. And if I look at the records for our, our um, Jeremiah, who is our spouse, Jeremiah's Tufts Navigator terminates on June 30th, and the Fallon Direct Family starts on July 1. Let's go ahead back to the home screen. A reminder, all of your forms must be sent to the GIC in accordance with the current rules that are in place for the number of days. If you have any questions when you begin um, using the new application, please contact our audit unit. Technical assistance, please email magic.help at massmail. And um, that concludes today's session. I hope it's been helpful, and best of luck with everything. Thank you.